Hello, today we're going to go over what happens when you get a split order or back order error message in Deer Inventory Systems. As you can see here, we have already picked the customer and imported the customer's order from 3PL. Here you can see we're going through the sale entry process like normal. We will click Authorize to get to the Order tab. But when we click Authorize in the Order tab to move over to the Picking tab, you will notice that we may run into the following problem. You will see an error message that says the following, Unable to authorize sale order, please select back order or split order to proceed with the sale order. If you notice, three of our line items have red triangle, meaning something went wrong. In this instance, Deer Systems thinks we do not have enough quantity to pick and ship this order. This is how you'll want to handle the following error message. You will need to go to the Inventory tab, and in the new menu that appears, select New Stock Adjustment. Make sure to open it in a new window or tab. Here we have navigated to the Stock Adjustment screen. This is where we can make inventory adjustments quickly to accurately bill our customers for any items that Deere says that were not available when we try to click the Authorize during the sale order process. First you will want to scroll down and you will see a plus zero stock on hand products. You will need to click this for every time you want to add an item where you need to change the quantity. First, you'll need to choose the location. You will always pick Main Warehouse from the drop-down menu. Next, you'll pick the product we need to change the quantity for. We will come back to the window or tab where the sales order entry is, and we'll take a look at the items that have a red triangle indicating there is no stock. But we know this happens to not be true because our warehouse team's pick ticket said these items shipped, so we will need to change the quantity to make sure the sales order matches. We will continue to add each item and change the quantity as needed until all the items are added. We will want to double check the quantities we entered to verify they are correct. Once you've added all the items, you'll want to click on Complete. We will then come back to the Order Entry screen on Deer and click Back Order. After you have clicked Back Order, you will proceed with the regular Deer Order Entry process. Thank you for watching this video.